You said that each would make the transition to another operating system individually. How do I understand that my transition to another system has been completed? Well, it is similar to a state when information is unpacked. You can't help but feel it. First up, the space will change, the people you interact with will change, and the most important rule of interaction, which, as I hope I've already made clear, will also change. This interaction excludes any violence. This interaction in no way puts human life and health as payment for goods or punishment for misdeeds. That is, the system of new interactions, the new operating system, takes the concept of health and life, reward and punishment out of the system, simply takes them out and does not consider them in principle. And that's the first thing. Within your space, nobody can ever force you to be healthy or sick. Nobody can ever say that if you don't perform some kind of medical manipulation, we will deprive you of some social benefits. Here in the new operating system, that's not possible. That is only possible in the violent Abrahamic system. The Abrahamic system, forcing you to agree thrice to this condition, drags you into its paradigm, which is within the 19th arcana we've been talking about. Everyone who agrees to be submissive, who agrees to follow the rules, who agrees to follow the terms and conditions, everyone dragged into there. You have to agree thrice to these rules to make it happen. These are the conditions of this channel, any mystical channel, but the Abrahamic channel in particular. It's written there. It's just a red line through all the Abrahamic stories that you have to agree to the same thing three times. Whereas in the new reality, in your personal reality, which is formed on the basis of your I am, and the system of I am and reality, this cannot happen, because you will be in contact with other realities that respect personal freedom, and your interpenetration will not violate this personal freedom on either side. And it's a mutual agreement. That is why you will feel it immediately. Psychological and physical violence will stop. It will even disappear from your informational field. It will disappear completely. It will simply cease to exist. At the beginning, it may feel like loneliness and the absence of the usual circle of being, like everything stands still. A complete self-isolation when informational flows enter your reality only when you want them to. But later on, you will begin to experience interpenetration with the systems which have already transited the same way as you did. You will just see it. One person will appear in your life, another person will appear. And suddenly you have completely different relations with these people than you had before, relations based on different social norms and other social rules. And suddenly, your professionalism will sparkle with new colours, and the society you interact with will look at you and, more importantly, you at them in a completely different way. That is such a level of mutual respect that immediately lets you know what is allowed, and it's naturally understandable and then it lets you know where the line is, and it's also naturally understandable and clear without words. You can ask this person about this, but never ask him about that. Here, we talk about this, and do not talk about that. And it's not social norms that were drummed into your heads. All of that will happen naturally, as if you have known one another all your lives, and you just realize that it's better not to ask this person about his family because he has problems there. But you can talk about work because it's his subject of interest.
Here, you can talk to this person about vaccinations, but you can't discuss it with that person because, for one, it's acceptable, and for the other, it's still painful. You will just feel it. It is such a natural feeling that cannot be confused with anything else. And the most important thing is that the other person will feel exactly the same way. And then more and more. A new system of communication and new interaction will start to form. It is clear that in this perspective, you will communicate to a greater extent with your people, where your people will be rather those working with you in the same professional field than those who are related to you by blood, by family, by some social norms, by habits, or by a shared past. That will all start to go away very quickly and very clearly. But professionals will become the point of mental fixation because professionalism is something that belongs to you personally. This is something that you have done. And if blood, kin and social contacts were given to you by egregorial systems, kin and family, by egregore and religion, by social institutions and shared moral standards, then with a high degree of probability, professionalism is your own personal achievement. Because you studied by yourself, you got an education by yourself, you gained experience by yourself, yes, in the environment, but you chose this path, and the path chose you. And it's not your blood, but your professionalism, no matter how horrible it sounds, that is more likely related to your personality, to your I am. Just imagine, not your blood, but your professionalism. But we're talking about the reality made by your I am, and your I am is you as a professional to a greater extent than you as a man, as a woman, as a Russian, as a Ukrainian as a pensioner, as a friend, as a mom, or as any other social role. You are professional more than anything else. And when the emphasis is placed on forming reality based on your I am, you will be looking for your people where the I am is more manifested, meaning that you will find people close to you in the circle of professionals. All others will be formed on other rules. The concept of family, the concept of kin, will never be established by you and will always be the basis of the contract that exists between realities. You are my family because I am also your family. I consider you my relative because you also consider me your relative. To be a relative means this, and here is our common circle of communication. To be a family means this, and here is our common circle of communication. And if members of the same family say that our common circle of communication is here, and our boundaries are there, and we, for example, never ask each other what we do at work, what kind of activity we have, then the rules for your family would be exactly like that. If we never ask each other what tribe you are from, or who your parents are, then that's the way it is. And if we agree that we do ask such questions, then we do. It's a mutual contract, and you can't make a person break that contract just because you have other ideas about what the contract should be. This is a very new way of thinking. Try to think about it. This is only possible with a mutual agreement and never with a compromise. Because compromise is a system of mutual concessions and always at the expense of something, something very valuable, and it is always the personal self that suffers. And if you put the I am at the forefront, and it turns out that the I am always has more to do with your professionalism than your professionalism will dictate the rules of what your reality will be, how to manifest your I am, and what social contracts to establish with surrounding realities, which realities to establish with, and which to never establish with. I hope I have explained it clearly, in detail, 
And maybe we will have many more conversations about it, because this process is at the very beginning, and these algorithms are just appearing. Those who are working to create a new reality are the pioneers in this area. Of course, we meet a deep resistance from the environment, because the old Abrahamic system, being in agony, and having from three channels only one more or less surviving, and that one is already convulsing, very much wants to take to itself as many souls as possible, as if saying, the more slaves as property we pull to our channel, the stronger we will be. That's what they think, but that's their illusion. Because this burden of slaves will not fulfill for them the function they are counting on very much, and they really hope to buy themselves out through slaves функцию, на которую они очень сильно рассчитывают. Они рассчитывают ими откупиться. But we will surely see, and it will happen within our lifetime, we will see how much they were wrong, how much they were mistaken. Because they won't be judged by the measure of justice of their circumcised God, they will be judged by the ancient measure of the mother, the measure of the one great goddess that gives birth to all life. And there are quite different rules of judgment and quite a different measure. And the first rule is that all the children must survive. And no social achievement, no civilizational success can ever justify breaking this most important and most basic rule of mother. All the children must survive.